well this is the same rocket stove again this time <coughs> um, I've got two pints of water on there in a kettle there's two sticks in it as you can see and this is the same rocket stove that I've posted before on on YouTube but I've got a modified combustion chamber um, this little stand I made out of stainless steel to fit on the top as well but see how effective that is I mean that is it's puthering up at the moment Hence the name, Rocket Stove, I guess. This has took about five minutes to boil two pints of water in this pan. It looks like it's just about boiling. If I can get off my knees. <laughs> it is damn cold out here. It must be about minus to now let's have a look yeah and there you go whoops there you go there's your rolling boil if you can see that <laughs> for the steam <laughs> there it is and you can see there's a good two pints in there that's uh <coughs> and it's still coming out under pressure that that, that flame is it's really uh, really getting some juice to it I shove the sticks in a little bit because they were they're burning quite quick and there you go look at it two sticks and that's the rocket stove and there is no fan in this this is just natural draw coming through. What can't speak can't lie. And there you go. I mean, uh, this is a cracking piece of kit. I've <coughs> I never really get bored of it. You can really tailor the flame to how you want it with the amount of fuel you use, the type of fuel you use. Oops! <coughs> Look at that boiling away there. Take that pan off, and there it is. Just put that on the floor. Oops, I better just cover that a moment. Uh, excuse me. There we are. And I just riddle the sticks a little bit, and, uh, and there it is. Well, I hope it gives you all food for thought, or at least a bit of incentive to have a play around yourselves and uh, see what you can come up with. I know there are other rocket stoves out there that are fan assisted, etc., but this isn't. Um, But it does burn well. Anyway, bye for now. <laughs>